Welcome back, guys. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, rip authentication. Um, actually, uh, in my previous video, I have already talked about the the concept of the rip and how to configure the rip. Today I'm going to have another topic about the rip is the authentication. Okay, so uh, I don't have the real topology. I just so I have to derive for you guys. Um, the topology in this lab is something like um, like this. I got uh, one router. This is the router one here, and connect to the another router is the router router two. Okay, so I use the fast Ethernet zero slash zero between them. Okay, and about the uh, uh, network, I will just ten zero ten dot zero slash 30 between them so go, go, this one going to be one this one going to be two okay and I got the LAN here this is the one dot one dot one dot one and this is the two dot two dot two dot two okay this one is slash two this one is slash two and both of them are the loop back okay so I have pre-configuration on this um yeah uh, here we go then okay so let's go with together now I can from router 1 I can ping to 10 0 10 2 yeah and uh, I need to config the rip right now go to rip version 2 network 10 0 0 0 number 1 so that, that and the auto summary Finish on the router one, router two, router rip version two the same ten zero some that at network two dot two dot two dot two no auto summary the same. So after that I have to show IP route as you can see uh I have the all right here is the rip here so I can now ping to the loop back of the route so one here okay so right now is the time that we have to do the authentication. First, um, you have to create a keychain, and then just use. I'm really going to use the um, test for test, and then we have to certify the key number. I'll use the key one, and then key string. I'm going to use um, any string will be one Cisco, okay. And then we have to go to the interface that connect to the and the router is the interface zero slash zero here. So I'm going to say IP rip awesome authentications. We got uh, two twice. We got I uh, have to put a keychain. Okay. So my keychain is the name of keychain is test. Like you can see here, um, my keychain name where is that here. Uh, is the test okay? This one, this one, and I had to I had, I had to put test the same thing in the rip configuration authentication. So I put, put test here, and then I have to put rip authentication again. I'm gonna say mod. So it I, it is going to give me two option is undefined or text. So I would like to use undefined because it's more secure. All right, that's it at the end uh, of the configuration on R one. So at the time, R1 and R2 lost the connection right now. Yeah, it doesn't learn the route anymore. So it, uh, on the router 2, I want to clear IP route star. And I'm going to show IP route again. As you can see, I don't have the route to uh, R1 anymore. You can see uh, before, before um, I have the route to R1 here. It's the 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1 .1. Right now, I lost the route because the authentication is mismatched, something like that. So right now, I'm going to uh, 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 configure the authentication on the router two. Okay, the first thing, I have to create another keychain. The same thing, keychain test. Uh, um. Okay, key one. The same thing. Everything must be the same. Key string, Cisco. And then go to F0 slash 0, uh, IP RIP, authentications, keychain, test, 
IP RIP, authentication, mode undefined, I'm sorry and just wait a little bit and clear IP route start again and so IP route as you can see now I, I, I have the route back you know this is the one 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 and you can reach to route to one here you know working just fine so this is the how to config the uh, RIP authentication hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much